Hello everybody, day 18 of these daily video sources in the description box below. So there's a woman, her name is Lujane al Hathal, which I probably butchered that name, so I apologize. So she is a 31-year-old woman in Saudi Arabia who's been arrested, and she's just now finally getting charged. She's been on hunger... Good God. It's like the worst thing about living in a city. Things just happen around you, you don't know. Anyway... So she's a woman, 31 years old, in Saudi Arabia. She's been on hunger strike for about a month thus far. So she was charged with contacting media, both local and international media, promoting women's rights and trying to end male guardianship. Her story is pretty interesting. The fact that it's not widely known, I find to be kind of uniquely disturbing. So let me go all the way back to 2013. So there's a video for driving, and she was protesting ending male guardianship. Okay, got it. Which is Saudi Arabia, right? You can't do that. 2014, she was jailed for 73 days, and she tried driving from Saudi, or excuse me, UAE to Saudi Arabia. She was also posting uncovered face pics on social media, which, as we all know, is a big no-no over there. 2015, she ran for elections. And that was the first time a woman could run for elections and vote in Saudi Arabia. And they, so she was allowed to do so, but they didn't end up putting her on the, the election ballot. Uh, fast forward, 2018, she was arrested, tortured, and waterboarded for 10 months, no trial. And that leads us all the way up to where we're at right now. So she's being threatened to be killed and raped, and she's still being tortured and shocked. And she just wants to talk to her family. That's it. The icing on the cake is that Saudi Arabia allowed women to drive just a matter of weeks, maybe even over a little over a month, right after she went to jail for driving. Right after she went to jail for driving. Saudi Arabia is still doing beheadings. Literally, the very first video I did was a year ago, and I covered a story where a woman was convicted of magic and sorcery, and she was beheaded. We're in the 21st century, and they're still doing this. There's something called the square. It's essentially like their equivalent of, like, you know, your central point, your downtown, your mall. Nine o'clock, people are walking by, you know, getting their Starbuckses, whatever, whatever it is over there. They'll behead people right there, and then they'll announce afterwards to the public who just walking by what the crime was. Just think about that for a second. You're with your family, you're walking by, someone's getting beheaded. Now you have to explain to your kids why somebody's getting beheaded. The irony as well, specifically with the lack of face covering, is that their newest leader, who's going to become the president, uh, Mohammed bin Salman al Saud. He's opening the country up and allowing for there to be more entertainment right now. You know who was actually going to do a concert in Saudi Arabia until it received a lot of backlash? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj was going to go to Saudi Arabia to do a concert. And they're mad at her for promoting women's rights. Nicki Minaj has, like, more fake plastic in her body than I probably have in this entire apartment. And they put this girl into jail and tortured her for promoting women's rights. <laughs> like, I'm still blown away. I've read this earlier today, and I'm still talking about it, yet I'm still blown away by it. My God. If ISIS ever had the opportunity to establish statehood, it wouldn't be that far away from Saudi Arabia.